Welcome to our new Osceola studio and welcome to the Osceola's 2022 preseason position preview. I'm the Osceola's editor, Bob Ferranti. Today we're going to talk about Florida State's defense and start with the defensive backs. I'm joined by our Osceola publisher, Jerry Cutts. Glad to be here. Excited about 2022 and I'm particularly excited to have uh, Leroy Smith join us. He's one of our Osceola analysts, former player, played from 2000 to 2004. Leroy, welcome. Uh, thanks for having me, Bob and Jerry, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Leroy, thanks for joining us. I think we maybe want to start by getting to know what you're doing now in Tallahassee, working with uh, young football players. Oh, man. For man, it, uh, After my playing days, I've uh, I taught, I coached, um, help helping kids uh, go to get to the next level. So now I, I have my my organization um, Diamonds in the Rough, in which I mentor kids through uh, academics, athletics, and career and personal development. So um, I'm always on college tours, taking kids on college tours, developing kids, preparing kids um, to get ready to transition to the college level. So, you know, I'm, all, I'm always uh, evaluating kids, uh, telling them what they need to work on and, and also communicate with the college coaches to let them know what a kid um, brings to the table and, and why they should uh, basically give this kid a scholarship. So that's what I do. So, so Leroy, you get the opportunity through seven on seven camps to see a lot of kids and work with a lot of kids. Absolutely, I've, I, I've seen, uh, we, we've been in Florida and I still say Florida has, you know, I might be by, by some of the best talent, but um, all over the country, I go to 707 tournaments, um, camps, clinics all over the country, uh, from Texas to California to Chicago, you name it, I'm, I'm there. In addition to that, what, what I understand you're doing is um, you're giving kids a good foundation academically so that they Absolutely. can pre prepare Absolutely. them. We have so. co college students. We have tutors. We have tutors and um, basically people that, um, well, well, my partners, you know, help that, that, that helped me help the um, kids pass the ACT, um, deal with mental health issues. Um, basically, so they'll, they, they'll be sound, mind, body, and soul. So when they get on the field or, or whatever, or get in a position to do what they want to do, they, they, they can do it to the maximum potential. We'll, we'll talk more about, about your, your foundation uh, in coming weeks, but um, you want to hop into some football? Yeah, how about some football one-on-one? -on -one? Maybe you can educate Jerry and I a little bit as well as some yes, of our <laughs> people watching tonight. Um, maybe let, let's start with some terminology. We've heard the term boundary corner, field corner, how are those used? What kind of skill set are you looking for from different corners? And, and how does it work within the Florida State defense? Oh, so, you know, boundary corner, you, you're, you're going to have to be more physical. You're going you, you're gonna to have to probably guard the biggest receiver. And also, you're going to have to be able to come down and, 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 and tackle well. I'm so, you know, because, you know, it's, 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 it's a physical game, you know, um, field corner. Let's say field corner, you got to be able to cover, you got to be able to move your feet, you got to be able to anticipate. You got to, it's, it's the field corner has a lot, a lot to do with basically covering. You know, you have to know um, concepts. You know, I think all DBs have to know concepts, but being playing the field corner, you got to know what they're trying to do to you um, because the field is, 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 is large. And, you know, if you're trying to transition to the NFL, you know, there's no boundary field corner. Everything is equal because the hash marks are tight, close together. So it's both both of them are, are, are field corner. So, um, but as far as you playing boundary corner uh, in in any defense, you know, uh, you have to be physical. You have to be almost like <laughs> a mixture of a safety cornerback and linebacker. You know, um, being able to 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 be just just be physical in the pass and be physical in the run. Field corner is like more so, you know, you got to be able to three step. You got to be able to run. You have to be able to run, and you have to be able to uh, you have to have a a high IQ of the, of the game. We'll be back in thirty seconds. We'll take a look at the projected two deep defensive back uh, depth chart. 
Alumni Hall, where you'll find officially licensed FSU gear for the entire family, including brands like Nike and Champion. Plus, great gifts for your favorite Seminole and home decor, too. Miss some of the old Seminole throwback logos? Check out our College Vault collection. Shop online at alumnihall.com and let our great customer sales team ship to you within days. Or pick up in-store in Tallahassee. You'll find us in the Miracle Plaza Shopping Center on Thomasville Road. Students and military get 10% off in-store. And Osceola subscribers get 20% off in-store store and online with their digital membership cards alumni hall we're back with leroy smith and, and leroy with college football offenses spreading everybody out defenses have gone to the nickel package using five defensive backs it's a necessity that you have the personnel there to to match up with so many receivers and tight ends and running backs Can you talk a little bit about how florida state uses that extra defensive back how they use that strength to to make their defense function so well you know, you know, um, of course, everybody is 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 passing about. Everybody spreading the spreading the ball. So, I feel as though um, a lot and a lot of people are running the inside zones, the inside zone. So, the four two five defense is 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 designed to spill, is that to 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 spill the uh, play to the outside. So, therefore, you got to have fast. As um, individual athletes on 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 the on the outside um, to be that 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 can tackle that can run that can cover all in one so that's that's when Florida State I feel the the, the four two five would be effective and 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 the Florida State defense would be be effective as well but it's it's designed to spill and I understand exactly what they're trying to do because they have athletes all over the field. They just got to understand what what they're do doing, understand the, their responsibilities, and understand where the defense is is weak at, and that's when they will be a great defense. And, and why is Kevin Knowles the right guy to be the nickel oh in this defense? He was a freshman last year. We're expecting oh big things from him moving He's forward smart. too. Because he has a high IQ, and he's only gotten better he came in making plays even though he wasn't the biggest he came in making plays and you know transition I think he was an early enrollee he came in making plays so coming from from high school transitioning to college he just you know he he had the technique he was he was technical sound and when, when when there was a play to be made, he made it. So he didn't shy away. So, you know, I think he had some great coaching uh, and he could tackle. So everything that you need at, at a nickel, he brings it, he brings it to the table to me in my eyes. Um, not saying that he's a, a Jalen Ramsey, but he 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 he's playing with the potential that he could be a great another great Florida State cornerback one of the guys who's been really consistent in that secondary is a, is a transfer Jamie Robinson he's played a couple different spots there some safety some nickel um, becoming a leader what what have you seen from Jamie why why is he so effective in multiple roles for this defense um he remind me of um something like a Trey Marshall you know from Lee County I think uh hard nose um, the style, you know, with that body that can move, that can run, transition. He could go to linebacker because he has the body for it. He could go back to safety, and you know, he can run pretty good. So that's why he's been been able to go to multiple positions and be effective for the defense. You know, he has the style. He can run, and he, he's he's hard nosed. So of course, you know, uh, <laughs> being able to do more that 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 gives you more more chances to be on the field, more chances to help your team and more chances to, 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 to ultimately go to the next level. He, he appears to me to have a, a great motor. He's always excited at practice, always, you know, hustling and he, he kind of, I guess he, you could say heart and soul of that secondary. Absolutely. And, um, and, and it's always good to have someone on a defense that's like that. You know, let's say um, Brian, one of my guys was Brian Dawkins that I looked looked up to. Um, he always kept, he was a secondary guy that kept the defense motivated. He would knock your head off. 
if, if you can't cross the middle back in, in, when, when he plays. So he, you know, um, he put he put me in the mind, Jamie put me in the mind of, of, of players like that. If he keeps it up, you know, he, he can reach that potential. You know, another guy I want to ask you about is, is Akeem Dent. He's been a corner. He's been a safety in high school. He's been a corner. He's now a safety in college. Akeem seems comfortable in this role. What are you seeing from him? Um, you know, due to injury, you know, I think um, once he gets the confidence back that he had his freshman year, he's a elite player. Because Akeem, growing up, you know, I saw him growing up in Miami. Um, he was he went always went against the best. Um, he getting here transition here. Um, he started started off good, had injuries, had nagging injuries that you know um, you know kind of delayed that. But I think with his experience now, you know, I think one thing he was relying on his God gift ability, his speed, his talent. Now. I think he's more so understand that you have to be a student of the game and that keeps you ahead and where you have have time to use your your you, you know when to use your God given abilities, you know when okay i'm going against this guy, I know what he's running, I know, I know this route concept, I know what they're trying to do, so you can you, you can you can anticipate based off percentages. And then you can make more plays so. He's he's learning to be a more so of a student of the game and not relying on his athletic ability. And I think he's going to have a pretty good year. By corner, we're going to have a good competition in preseason camp. Uh, Jarvis Brownlee has transferred to Louisville, so that has two jobs oh, open, wide open. One of the guys that we like, we think, is a rising star, is Amarian Cooper. Freshman had a couple starts last last fall. What has Amarian showed you, and and who do you think um, might emerge as that other starting corner? Um, Amarian Cooper is a is a big body, as well as Ronaldo Green. So we have you have two big corners. You know, I have to see them move. You know, I know that that they're big, and 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 I I want to see them get comfortable on the field. You know, you're young. When I I can remember when I was young, when after Tate Cody and Cleavon Thomas left, I was you know I was known for making plays in high school, but a transition to play on in Dope Campbell Stadium on the field, you know you have to be focused. You have to understand what you're there for and what you're representing. So I think they have the potential to be great corners because they're so they're long. They're six feet. 185, 90 pounds. It's gifted athletes, you know. Um, just, just knowing what's going on for IQ football, IQ playing cornerback is 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 a must. So I I I seen some great things athletically, but I just need to see more of knowing what's going on, anticipating what is about to happen, and reacting. Quick reaction. The other corner, we've got Greedy Vance that came in as a transfer, and he showed us some stuff uh, this spring. He, he seems uh, to be a guy Played that pretty can good. very well can win a starting job. He's technical sound. Absolutely. He's tech, He's long. He's technical sound. Te he's a technician. He's calm, calm at the line of scrimmage. You know, he's a sophomore. I guess he's been seen a little bit. But he's calm. He always was calm, and that's what I like. Good. He turns his hips well. So, I think greedy. Greedy has a chance of 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 you know going to being that emerging corner. You know, greedy. Greedy can 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 really play to me. You know. Um, so basically, uh, what I what I what I, what I saw from him, it, it it reminded me. I said, okay, he's doing. He's doing some things that shows that he's working on his craft. And that's the thing, working on your craft, working on your craft. You know, uh, um, basically, you know, although he, he, he looks longer than what he is, he looked longer than what he is because 
he's always in, 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 in position to make a play. So, you know, I, I, I think he got the opportunity to, you know, be a, be a, a rising a rising star or whatever uh, 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 at Florida, on, on the defense this year. No shortage of talent in the defensive backfield. We'll be back in 30 seconds to wrap up our look at the position group. Hey, Seminole fans. Tickets to Florida State football games are now on sale. Right now, you can pick up single-game tickets, three-game packs, and season tickets for the 2022 season. Home games include Florida, Clemson, Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, Boston College, Louisiana, and Duquesne. Have fun this football season with your friends and family, all the while knowing your ticket purchase is funding FSU's success. Call your ticket rep today at 850-644-1830 or visit Seminoles.com. That's Seminoles.com. Welcome back. Leroy, um, we've got two very talented young corners in Azariah Thomas and Sam McCall, both four-star players recruited by everybody. And uh, they entered early in January, and they've had that benefit of going through a spring. And, and they, they turned some heads. I mean, they, they both have ball skills. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm curious, a few minutes ago, you mentioned – your transition from high school where you were a big playmaker to performing in Doak. How hard is that? And what advice would you give those two, those two young men uh, to prepare um, themselves? Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard. It's, it's just a learning process. And, and I'm grateful to be able to have played up on the Bobby Bound and Mickey Andrews. And I had great players in front of me like I say, Tate Cody, um, All-American, Antonio Camardi, Brian McFadden on the other side. And, and we just had a loaded secondary such as this. Um, so what I did was, you know, learn. And that's the advice I was going to learn from everyone. Study, work on your craft, know what you're good at. And you have to be um, true to yourself you know, at playing cornerback because you're out there alone. You know, you have a lot of field to cover and it's dope camel and everyone is watching you. So um, I didn't want to let my team down. I didn't want to want to let my coaches down. I want to play to the best of my ability. So I studied. I studied more than a lot of people thought I did, you know. Um, so, and I always worked on what my craft. Try to get better every day, 2% better every day and compete you know i you, you you have to compete you have to compete you have to be on the field and compete compete but also know you know where you messing up so you correct can so you can correct it the next day it's just like being in the classroom and you're doing math and you you're doing multiplication and you know you got to write out your your problems, how you solving the problem, and you missing the step. You have to go back to that step that you missed so you can correct it in order to be, I mean, in order to continue your greatness, your process. So that's the thing when you when you play it, when I that's the thing I give them because they're they're they have great ball skills. These two guys are tall. Has great ball skills, lanky. Um, I think both of them played receiver in high school. Um, so now it's just the transition of the mental transition of learning what's going on. And that's all I saw, learning what's going on. Well, Bob and Leroy, the, the fact that they came in in January, got to go through mm -hmm. off-season conditioning program, through spring practice, has to help them. And now... In the summer, they're out there trying to get better, working on their craft against receivers and quarterbacks. Can you talk about how much progress can those young men have made in 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 that process? You know, they've been here now six months. Oh man, everybody will tell you that spring is the hardest time to come to to <laughs> to, to play football. <laughs> Because you got it's grueling practices, you're going against your teammates. You don't see nobody else. You, you you're competing, and that's and you know you have you know what we had were, was mat drills, 
So it's a whole process that's gonna make you can't help but get better. Either you get better or you fold. You know, so I think with the plays that they've the progress they made, they've gotten better. So they they're uh I could say 10 10 steps ahead of the 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 the, the other guys that are going to come in in the fall. Because you already know the guys, you already know what it's like. You're meeting the coaches. You 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 know what the the practice schedules are like. You've been through the most grueling time in football and you transition educationally. You transition athletically you know what the training room is like it just you don't familiarize yourself with your team with the environment with the 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 coaches and the atmosphere so and you're still making plays so i just i just think they're 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 the if they continue to do what they're doing the sky's the limit for those guys it's a deep group and it's gonna be good competition come late july and august as preseason camp opens up to wrap us up for the defensive backs at Florida State. We thank Leroy Smith for joining us. Follow us on Osceola's YouTube channel. Like us, subscribe to our channel for all these videos from all of our Osceola football analysts. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Osceola's preseason previews.